black coffee and a white top, this is risky. If you're into portrait photography or portrait editing, I've got some really big news for you in this video. But before I get into that, I just want to let you know where I've been. That is all my pain medication that I've been on after I managed to put my back out doing the most crazy of things. I knelt down for a photo. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I knelt down for a photo and I managed to put my back out. So rather than record YouTube videos smashed off my face on painkillers, I needed to wait until I could actually sit in this chair comfortably and communicate in a normal kind of way, not being like... Now, while I am still in quite a bit of pain, I wanted to get on camera and just let you know about an opportunity that's coming up that may or may not be right for you. But if you're a portrait photographer, this is big news. This is a game changer for portrait photographers. So what the hell is Apity? I recently flew out from New Zealand to the Azores to meet with the team from Skylum. What an amazing experience that was. And as part of that, I was introduced and given a first-hand demonstration of this new portrait editing technology. Um, I can tell you that the tools that they're putting into this are absolutely amazing they are game changing so while they might not be right for everybody if you only occasionally edit portraits then it's probably not worth investing in but if portrait photography or wedding photography if that is your thing this is going to revolutionize the way you edit this new ai based technology that skylum are bringing to the table i think of it in terms of similar to when they first brought out the sky replacement tool now that's something that we kind of all take for granted now it's something that adobe got on the bandwagon with and copied and a lot of other software companies copied that technology or the idea behind it for sky replacement so that we could speed up that part of our workflow well it's that same kind of evolutionary step that is going on for portrait editing time consuming things like skin retouching frequency separation all that kind of stuff that just really bogged down your workflow it's now being done by the ai and the software in a really intelligent and beautiful way i've seen the results firsthand it is exceptional so if that's something that's going to help you out with your editing, what I'd recommend is just at least check out the link that I'll put in the description below because they currently have only a thousand, or this is when they launched it, a thousand copies, sorry, a thousand licenses available for lifetime ownership for the software. When it is released, it's going to be a subscription model, a bit like what they did with Luminar Neo. And a lot of people are like, I don't want to subscribe. I want to just own this outright. Now is your only opportunity to own this software outright. They had a thousand at the time of recording this. It's already down to about 700. So they are selling. And that's why I've come out of my pain imposed YouTube hiatus to let you know about this opportunity because this is a limited time thing. So I'll put a link to it in the description. Check it out. It might be right for you. It might not, but at least you know about it. Now, I think this is some pretty funny inside information with the software that is now called Apity. When it was introduced to me in the Azores, it was known as Project Barcelona. It was all very hush-hush. Um, there was no actual working title for it. And then the working title came out, and that is Bellface. That was what the software was going to be called. Um, I mentioned to Skylum that I didn't think Bellface was perhaps the best name for it i saw where they were going for it bell meaning beautiful beautiful face i got it it just just didn't sound quite right um so anyway they've now settled on apathy as the name for the software and yeah that's where we've kind of ended up with that okay let's take a look at some examples of what this software can actually do as you can see here on the left, we've got a more traditional example of retouching, you know, where you might be doing some blemish removal, doing that in Photoshop. And this is sped up 10 times video acceleration. Um, but let's have a look. This is able to be done in Apity, literally all automated at the click of a button. The exact interface um, that has not been disclosed yet. However, these are the results. I've seen these in person at that live demonstration in the Azores, and it is truly remarkable what this software is able to do. When I think of the amount of time I spend in Photoshop retouching my high-end portraits, yes, I love Luminar Neo, but when it comes to my professional retouched work, frequency separation and the like, I will turn to Photoshop and it takes ages. 
um, frequency separation. Talking of that right now, you can see on the left-hand side, that's what's going on there. Um, some other retouching methods as well, high-end professional stuff. If this is what you do, you will recognize this kind of work. And the fact that the software can do it for you, it's a real game changer. As it says here, time-saving technology as compared to other traditional portrait photo editors. So it's really gonna help you speed through your workflow automated retouching and also batch editing as well. So when you are shooting a series of portraits, being able to batch edit them automated is a big, big deal. So as we scroll down here and it talks about the past and the future of editing, like yes, this is the future. First of all, this is showing us blemish removal, frequency separation, skin tone adjustment, and then you can even add makeup as well. And the final touches that you're gonna see here it really is quite a marked improvement. Each one of those steps that we were seeing, the blemish removal, frequency separation, etc., is quite subtle in itself, and that is a mark of high-end retouching. It's much more refined and subtle, but when you add all of those effects together, and as we look at that before and after, you might be thinking to yourself, well, that is actually more processing than I would like in my retouching, and that's fine. From what I've heard from the developers, it's gonna be a case of, it's not one size fits all, that AI will learn your preferences and then be able to automate all of that editing based on what you actually like and how you would normally retouch your photos. So, like I say, it's a big game changer. So as we scroll down, we can look at the batch processing, and one of the things that struck me as just a really cool feature and something that I often struggle with is actually getting uniformity across a set of photos. So it's actually gonna be able to have a consistent, cohesive result across all of those photos. As you can see there, they started off quite different and now they all look like they're part of that same batch, that same processing set. And achieving consistency throughout a set of photos is something that I struggle with myself, particularly in things like Photoshop, when you're working one image at a time, which is what high-end professional retouching takes. And so those slight discrepancies that can creep in uh, break that illusion of a cohesive set. So the fact that this is able to do it for us and actually give us that really nice uniformity uh, is a really big plus. So I can see for wedding photography, when I used to do all the bridal portraits, being able to apply this to that set and just having that all look like it's all just beautifully together is a really big thing. And as I scroll down, you can see that it also has individual editing tools, so you can go in and actually retouch specific areas as well. Of course, there are gonna be different uh, presets and looks that we can apply to our photos, so um, that's gonna be a really nice option. That's to be expected. But this is one really cool thing, the advanced AI technology of face mapping. So that ability to actually recognize facial structures and then apply the retouching results based on that is a really cool feature. And you can see here developed with a professional. Now this was developed with portrait photographer Julia Trotti. And if you don't know her, you should. Um, if you're a portrait photographer, you know her. She's um, really fantastic, does a great job. And she's been working in conjunction with Skylum to make sure that the developers aren't just doing what they think would be good things to include in software, but actually include what a real world photographer actually needs in a portrait editing suite. Um, so that's cool that they've been working together. And I know Julia, I've met her briefly and lovely girl, love her work. And I think that the fact that she's been involved with this is a, is a very positive thing. And as we move on here, we just got some more examples. Again, very, very impressive results on that skin retouching, acne, pitted skin, things like that. You know, great looking guy, but no one's got perfect skin and that's gonna take care of that for you in an automated way as well. Um, even subtle things like this lady on the right hand side, beautiful looking lady, um, but even just retouching the skin like that, uh, it looks very subtle, but it is time consuming if you're doing that by hand. Again, another shout out to Julia, and as she says here, she's helped to create the photo portrait editing software that she has always dreamt of. So that's a really cool thing. And as you can see, you can pre-order it there. When I started recording this video, there were 700 
licenses left. I can see now there's only 687. So if you do want to get hold of this software, I'd recommend check out that link and move on that before they're gone because it is going to move to that subscription model afterwards. It's not right for everybody. I get that. Um, I'm not big into portraits anymore. It's always going to be Neo for my landscapes and things like that. But if you are a portrait photographer, check it out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully I'll be back pain-free recording some videos with a clear, unbefuddled head soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.